continue the legacy of art, fulfilling the vision of educating for life and our mission of making people employable, creating employment opportunities. Every single project we've seen today had a problem that was they were trying to solve. The objective of this initiative is to expose IT skills to the learners, especially those from disadvantaged communities within our province. This can have a profound impact in helping our pupils apply and design technical skills by constructing physical models, which we have seen here, to solve real life problems. I must say, I'm blown away. It pleases me uh, to announce that the automatic garden irrigation system. Our project is watering garden system that uses automatic irrigation system. It is a project that will automatically water itself at a certain period of time. It is a pipe connected to micro beads and sensors. The program sensors will sense the dryness of the soil and, and lead to the trickeration of the micro beat. Then the micro beat will be activated and automatically water the environment. So for coding, we have the mine escape. We all know the issue of deaths that take place in the mines. So to end this issue, me and my teammate have decided to design this mining escape system. Check this out. If I put my hand here, it will sense that there's a movement happening around the door of the elevator and it just opens up. Can you see that? Great, isn't it? For the robotics, uh, the winner there is the ant little bug. We use the ultrasonic sensor. It is used to sense the distance from the object to the robot. If the robot is going to hit a wall or an object, it is going to turn automatically or stop automatically. And we also use the, the bigger arm to take the dustbins from one place to another. Like maybe it takes the dustbin from the community to the dumping center. And we used this small, this small hand to pick up the papers, plastic and bottles to the dustbins. We want to say you are making this to happen for the future generation. And you are making it now. You've already started. Uh, what I've witnessed today was really a characterization of an innovator's journey. Um, all your students today have gone through the journey of becoming an innovator from, from the problem to the idea to the design, the assembly, the coding and most of all the actual presentation. The first prize, um, it would be the table 17, the irrigation system from the, from the high school. Logic will take you from A to B. But uh, imagination will take you everywhere. And I've seen both of those concepts applied today. So the second prize goes to uh, the fire alert system. The fire alert. Okay, so the third prize goes to mine escape. Uh, well done. And for the first place, and that's the choice awards of the audience, it's Mathematics Helping Robot. Second place, Communicating Vehicle, Mine Escape System. Third vote.